Brian here from quantlabs.net. I just wanted to let you know about what's been going on. I've been uh, posting uh, four videos for private our premium members uh, quantlabs.net membership. Um, these include the most popular um, possible uh, forecasting technique out there, moving averages, uh, can be easily used in an HFT or high frequency trading environment. Um, these videos uh, range from demonstrating uh, the uses of uh, simple moving averages and comparing it against a 50 and a 250 simple moving average, showing the metrics of uh, how that can be done, um, also plotting different things, max drawdown and profit opportunity with the cumulative uh, shown. I've got other videos on how to use uh, a simple moving average with and without a volatility filter. Um, also showing when with uh, uh, the VIX, also known as the uh, fear indicator, which is very useful in this uh, day and age uh, with the economy and the way the markets have been moving. Um, from there, uh, we've got a whole slew of other uh, other popular uh, market forecasting estimators. Um, and those models are going to be demoed uh, as I get to them. All hopefully done in um, R. Most of them will be done in R, and there's the odd one done in MATLAB. Um, so, out of that will come possibly CAPM, Bayesian, and a few other ones. A little, not as popular, but they're out there to be used for um, forecasting. Uh, they're not well known, but uh, they could probably show some potential. So, we're going to cover those. From there, we do a comparison of all the different models and then uh, focus which ones show the most promise uh, consistently. Um, and then put them into basically a repertoire of different models that are available for adaptive uh, uses uh, when you watch the markets. Um, so that's one next series of steps we'll be going through and that's only going to be available for the pro uh, premium members, again for quantlabs.net. Uh, also I will be uh, doing a build on a open source trading platform built in um, C++ for Linux with interactive brokers and as well as using MySQL as a uh, as a repository for tick data and tick data capture. From there I'll be able to use the uh, same repository for my R tick data that we'll use to um, uh, for, for, for the analytics and building the prototypes uh, and the models when we start to build the proprietary models as we get to them. I mean we're talking six months probably down the line. Um, and uh, I want to see a successful build with that uh, in the Linux environment. Why Linux? Why C++? It's for obviously low, lowest latency to make it as uh, light as possible. Um, so that's one big step. Also I'm looking at uh, clustering uh, as opposed to what made me move and switch over to R was the highly expensive parallelization toolbox. Well, different licensing fees from for MATLAB. Uh, using that parallelization toolbox, which will run you in the neighborhood of up to uh, outside the core uh, licensing fee of MATLAB with an additional probably seventy, eighty thousand dollars for what was needed. That is why I made the switch to R. I've done various investigation on different techniques uh, using NoSQL, ranging from Cassandra, MongoDB, Hadoop, uh, Redis, uh, all done in R, setting it all up in Linux. I've got various uh, demos of that on the YouTube Quant Labs channel. You can just search them all out. Um, and also integrating that with R and then uh, that's how I'd be building uh, the analytics uh, to speed up um, the model simulations which can take quite a while. Um, I've got demos showing like 20,000 which can take like three to four minutes but when you are really dealing with tick data um, where the number of observations can be probably up in the neighborhood of over half a million uh, crunching, number crunching becomes very critical in terms of speed so as a result uh, that's where the parallelization and building out a scalable hardware solution um, is critical uh, to show that parallelization. I've, I've done various investigation in that and uh, it looks very promising just a matter of actually doing it, maybe having one uh, master and then maybe about four slaves um, as being part of that cluster for um, the model simulation. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, all this will be available uh, some for public, some for not, for the premium members uh, as well as we've got our webinars happening starting on July 17th. We've got some other vendors that want to be part of this um, and 
and some of them will be face to face at a meet up location in Toronto, downtown Toronto, as well as we'll be doing lots of virtualized um, webinars as well <laughs> and demos. And the big one for me is being able to, to demonstrate to my members um, the uh, what I'm doing as well as getting a collaborative uh, group together hopefully going to be doing some frequent webinars and get a, a, a momentum building like I had in the winter um, as we move towards a, a complete end-to-end -end solution for a high frequency trading environment with models included uh, which was something I lacked uh, in the last uh, um, webinar series I guess back in the winter um, so that's where we stand uh, another big uh, announcement for people is the community uh, I have implemented some uh, new um, uh, capabilities within the membership area where it enables something very similar to Stack Exchange, that network, um, where members can ask each other uh, questions and build a community and friendships and relationships or whatever on that area. Um, and the best part is it's very similar to you Choose Your Best Answer. Um, and uh, that is what a lot of members have been asking for. That is now in place. I've got a video on that in the membership so you can uh, check all that out. So we do listen to our membership uh, and we do value uh, everything that is recommended as well as we implement as quick as possible and one of the big ones uh, that we are uh, moving ahead on uh, is obviously model development, strategy development as well as the community uh, and doing it through a webinar type environment uh, using something like a go-to meeting. So uh, it's no reason why you shouldn't be part of that membership, but uh, I've said enough about it. You decide, uh, and I'll go from there later.